Hello, Newman. Hello, Newman. Hello, Newman. Welcome to another episode of Hello Newman brought to you by Elegance Tiles. Today I thought I'd go for a drive. I ended up in the middle of nowhere um, and apparently Reese Conker lives at this very house. So hopefully he's home and hopefully he can take us for a tour of his beautiful house and his beautiful surroundings here. Let's see. Doesn't look like. Oh, oh right. <laughs> hello, Newman. How are you, mate? How you going, all right? Yeah, good. Sorry, I thought this was your uh, this was your door. Looks a bit like a. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I got the nice big uh, timber oh, okay, yeah, it's here. the same yeah. thing anyway. But yeah, do you mind if we come in and no, have a look, mate? No, definitely. Sorry, it took me a while to. I was just upstairs, so. Oh, I can see you got two two levels. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Ooh, a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Yes. Um, all the Tigers fans out there know Ben Lennon. Yep. I'm lucky enough to have him living with me in my place. Oh, jeez, he's in bed, is he? Yeah, he takes a few liberties on his day off. Okay. Young Ben Lennon, yeah. so maybe just be a little bit quiet. Yeah. How is, it, how is it living with Ben? Yeah, he's a funny fella. Is he's, he? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's pretty pretty dry humoured, but yep. he's not too bad, little fella. Now, is this... Um... Is this hydrolyte or is this just his um, That's, um, night manic? Does he go to the bathroom <laughs> at night or does he just roll over and... Oh, I'd like to hope it's maybe a bit of um, hydrolyte in there, but... Um, do you want to taste some? Maybe uh, I'll out. maybe leave that one to you, mate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, well, maybe we should leave, uh, we should leave Ben to sleep. And yeah. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Go and check out the rest of the house. Oh, the old... Brivus climate system, eh? <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a while since I've seen this. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she does the job. She's yeah. probably um probably a bit outdated, but and I've noticed that you've put the temperature to a toasty fourteen. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a bit warmer out this side of town, mate. So uh, yeah, yeah, you know, just got to cool the jets off a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I'm not even sure that's a little repair job, <laughs> to be honest. That needs to be repaired. That's why that's there. Okay. So this is the waiting room. Yeah, this is where I just get people to wait when I'm a little bit busy. Okay. Um, and then they can come hang out with me after after I'm done. Got my nice little book collection there. Okay. You do a bit of reading? I love my Nat Geo, so I've been collecting them for a little while. Yeah. So that's that's not a bad read for the old, whenever someone's waiting, they sort of flick through that one. Quite the page turner. Mm. Mm. Easy to flick. Yeah. Real light page. Just learning a bit of French the other day. So okay. Maybe I'd uh, whip this one out. Give us a bit. Um, bonjour. Mm -hmm. Bonjour no. Christopher. <laughs> Could you just say it? Christopher that way isn't French. <laughs> yeah, that's is that all you know, is it? Uh, that's, that's where I started, yeah. I've just sort of been uh, just slowly picking up on that one. Right. You want me to give you a free lesson? Love it. Well, this paragraph here says, Je ne cesse d'agir pour servir cette France magnifique. Oh, hey. Hmm. Mm, so that's impressive. You know what that means? No idea, mate. That means, um, Pretty impressive uh, laundry, mate. Ben's obviously uh, just done a load and just left it there. Okay. Just puts his loads everywhere, Ben, in this place. <laughs> but, yeah, um, all right. So, and you, geez, you've got some stuff. You got something in the wash at the moment. Yeah, too. I just did a load of towels. Yeah. So they're just whizzing through now. Yeah. I like to have nice, fresh, crisp towels. Mm. And yeah. you, you obviously shop at the land of the giants to <laughs> get the washing powder. Yeah, there's you know three boys who go through a fair bit of washing, mate. So that lasts you for the year, does it? Nah, a couple of months. Mm. You'd be surprised. Okay. Having a couple of kids, I'm sure you'd understand. You'd yeah, yeah tell me about it, mate. Bit of washing, mate. It's a tough gig, I yeah. tell you what. I'm doing all the same thing in this household. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that this is a tad eccentric, don't you think? Um, yeah, it's just... It's just Unnecessary? Uh, I don't think I've seen that before. That's, yeah. Um, oh, that was there when I got the place, mate. You know, I didn't want to really yeah. do too many things to it. Does the job, you know? Yeah, it certainly does the job. Had a few flooding issues in here, though. <laughs> yeah. so, um, well, I'm not surprised, mate. This <laughs> dodgy door set up. There's a few photos in here that are pretty crook, mate, to be yeah. honest. Um, this one, yeah, that's when I had my first beer. Um, 
And you were f uh, 14, 14, 18. 18. <laughs> yeah, very young looking 18 year old. Mm. Young indeed. And uh, here he is. There he is, the man. The legend. Chunky leg on him. <laughs> <laughs> Took a lot of the looks, didn't he, in the family? Yeah, he's a pretty good looking dude. He's pretty smart, he probably got the smarts as well. And he got the brains as well. Yeah, he got the brains. Um, you were left with? I was left with just a real short torso <laughs> and uh, really long legs. Yeah. Just making the most of them. What about the strong hips? Real strong stuff. hips. Yeah. <laughs> got that from you, mate. So I'll tell you one thing. Matt D rates, doesn't he? Matt D, yeah. Probably the heaviest rater at the club. He does. He does, yeah. I saw him boxing this morning there, like, no good, mate. I remember when he first got to the club, he was really humble and shy and now he just seems to rate 24-7. Mm. It's strange how someone can change so much yeah. in such a short period, but... It's a shame. Yeah. It's a shame, mate. Oh, well. Mm. Now, you have mentioned uh, your Italian roots and very important for any Italian to have a big kitchen. Yes. So, certainly one of those, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's quite spacious. Um, I do all my cooking in this kitchen. Obviously. As opposed to... Uh, I've actually got a second kitchen. Oh my god! Oh, not sure if you saw that before when I gave you the, the tour. Yeah, no. we'll, maybe we'll have a look at that later. Okay. But um, yeah, so kitchen number one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it gets probably the most of the work. Yeah. And what's your favourite dish? Um, I make a real mean uh, chicken risotto. All right. So. Um, Benny Lennon and Bathy, do they pull their weight in here? Um, not so much. Leno hasn't. Probably step foot in the kitchen for a while. I know he's going to have to start to mm. step up a little bit. I feel like he's taking advantage of you a bit. And you've got the Munson. The uh, Cuns, yeah. Yeah, Will Thirstfield's invite up here. And I've noticed that the RSVP says, please specify any dietary requirements and you say no mayo. Yeah, I, um, I just don't really like mayonnaise. So, <laughs> oh, well. well. It's yeah. not really a dietary requirement though, is it? It's one of those things, you know, if they're going to plan the perfect wedding. Well, it's his wedding and you're saying, oh, I don't oh, I think mayonnaise. he would want to keep all guests happy. And if things have mayonnaise in it, I will be awfully unhappy. Absolutely ridiculous, that requirement, mate. Well, mate, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is. Yep. And yet, I noticed that you've got a, <laughs> a big tub of mayo in here. I knew that you'd have mayonnaise in here. That's funny. You make a lot of uh, I don't, yeah, I don't touch that, mate. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> I swear. You're lucky enough to have a sauna in here too, I see. The sauna, yeah. Oh no. The garage. The garage? Yeah. So, yeah, this is, that is the uh, beautiful second kitchen that we speak of. Yeah. Do you use that much? Um, oh, like I said, the, you know, kitchen number one probably gets most of the work. Yeah. Well, what do you do? What do you do out here? Uh, in this garage? Yeah. Um, you know, like, I just come and just stand in here and just... <laughs> that's the bike. Um, yeah, I've got the ping pong table that we sometimes set up. Yeah. And, um, yeah, to be honest, I don't really venture in here too often. All right. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Oh, okay. Oh, after you, yeah, of course. Guess first. So we'll get up the stairs. You've really done well for yourself, mate, to have a double level. Ah. You'd be the only one with a double level around this area, that's for sure. This is the study. This is where you get all the work done, eh? All the work, yep. Yeah. Just uh, crunch numbers. Um. You don't have a computer up here, though, mate. Uh, I've just, I've, my Affimax in the car. I uh, had to use it at the club for something. Yeah. So, got the old Toshiba, which I uh, <laughs> ran into the ground. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty busy, man. You obviously haven't had a lot of time to do some do anything with this space, have you? Nah, it's um, it's a pretty bare room, you know, but it's, I probably prefer it that way, you know, so I can just sort of get in, focus, yeah, what needs to be done. And there's your internet password for that's anyone it. that's interested. Anyone that lives around the area, yeah. jump on board. Yeah, this is comfy up here, mate. Mm. Talk us through the old master suite here. This is where I sleep at night, Yeah, obviously. Okay, and what do you do with the old cow hide? That's, uh, that's a nice decorative piece that uh, Aaron Marich, wife of Yvonne, oh, yeah. gave me. So, um, yeah, no, it looks quite nice there, doesn't it, mate? Yep. You spend Comfy. most of your time up here, do you? So I did Ricky Pedard's house mm. not long ago, and he had a bit of a high heel fetish. Yeah, I occasionally would tickle down Sydney Road in a nice pair of <laughs> heels. 
Um, so I was hoping you didn't come in this yeah, room. Yeah, I know. It's um, a bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Okay. Quite a nice little backyard, mate. Yeah. Just does the job, you know. Nice bit of AstroTurf. Did you put the AstroTurf in? I did. I got Michael Tuck to come do it for me, actually. Yeah, okay. So uh, the old fella came and did that. You can't be bothered mowing your lawns? Myself? Yeah. Uh, it's actually like concrete under here, so oh, I right. just thought I'd spruce it up a yeah, little bit, nice. you know. A um, bit too much grey around. Yeah. But, um, do get you have getting the oil decked on Friday? Oh, do, you, do, you have many, <laughs> do you have many barbecues? I'd have the occasional barbecue, yeah, probably more in the summer, you know. Get the big white buffalo out. Yeah. The call. Is that what it's called? The great white buffalo. Called, yeah. The great white buffalo. Yeah. Occasional game of darts. Yeah. Not too bad on the flick, are you? Pretty good, eh? Not too bad. I'm not too sure about the flights on but Yeah. Well, the most probably you know, really important for you to have laneway access because there's not a lot of parking. We well, probably wouldn't want to park your car out on the nah, street. No, not at all. So, yeah, I can just drive it down here, whip it in yep. back or into the garage. Shane. Shane? G'day, Shane. Oh, the runny boys. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. really awkward, isn't it? That's all right, uh, yeah. We'll talk, we'll talk later, Shane. <laughs> I think that's dry, mate. Whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, I think that's been there a while, to be honest. Yeah. So is that pig. Shit, <laughs> get that. That's what happens when you try and take this pig off. Look. <laughs> Come on, mate. That's pathetic. <laughs> oh, mate, you know. I've got a dryer. What is it? It's the middle of winter. Oh, I don't know what that is. I think it's for like a steam mop. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, so, Reese, pretty surprising actually. A little bit of a gem of this house, I reckon. Yeah, it's not a bad little spot. Yeah, and no, I really appreciate you taking the time to letting, um, or letting us in and uh, showing us around. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I've actually got nothing on, so I wouldn't mind sticking around and hanging out for a bit if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Just uh, take a seat there, mate. Um, oh. And I'll, um, I'll get back to you in a, in a bit. All right. No problem. Thanks, Shane, mate. you're up, mate. When you're ready? No problem. <laughs>